say to me, your show changed my life. Without Star Trek, the next generation, I might not be here. And, and that lies at the very center of what I have to tell you now. Jean-Luc Picard is back. Powerful stuff, right? Hello, Internet. Jed here once again to talk random nonsense at you for a bit. Specifically, random nonsense about Jean-Luc Picard being back. Mm, good news, right? Well, not if they do certain things with him. Let me explain. Now, I grew up with Jean-Luc Picard as a character. I grew up with Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, so I'm a pretty big geek when it comes to Star Trek. I love it. Um, so when I see the words Jean-Luc Picard is back, or when I hear the words Jean-Luc Picard is back, I'm just like, oh! I mean, you, if you've seen the earlier video that I did, uh, you'll note that my action was a little bit sort of like, <laughs> so yeah, it, it's a big deal for me. Um, now that being said, that being said, there are ways in which this could go absolutely tits up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a bit in brief about some of the ways that this could go absolutely tits up. So. For a kickoff, Jean-Luc Picard being brought back as a miserable, depressed old sod. <laughs> All right, there's a tendency uh, in bringing back characters from previous installments of a franchise to bring them back as being old, sad, and depressed and tired. Now, uh, for whatever reason, I, I don't know what the psychology of that is. And I don't really want to speculate because there's a lot of things that you could potentially read into the psychology of that. I don't want to be that guy. All right. All I'm going to say is that there's this very real trend of, you know, Jeff Bridges is Kevin Flynn in Tron Legacy was brought back as sad, tired and old. Luke Skywalker is sad, tired and old. Han Solo is sad, tired and old. You know, Deckard, sad, tired and old. Although it's a bit more understandable in Deckard's case. You know. A lot of these characters are being brought back, but they're sad, tired, and old now. All right, and and it would be tragic almost if Jean-Luc Picard, the paragon of humanist optimism that he was from Star Trek: The Next Generation, was brought back just to be sad, tired, and old now. All right, I, I don't feel like that would be. I don't feel like that would be a good use of the character. I don't feel like that would be an appropriate use of the character. I don't feel like that would be true to the spirit of what the character is and represents. Um, which is not to say that there aren't ways that you could do sad, tired, and old Picard. There are lots of ways that you could do sad, tired, and old Picard, but I feel like since there's this big 20-year gap that they're talking about, um, they, don't, they don't have the context for it, really. If you if you built up to sad tired and old Picard a bit more, it would be a bit better. But I don't know. I feel like I feel like a lot of people are expecting Picard to be back in the uniform or whatever the uniform ends up looking like, uh, and back in, on the bridge of a starship. I don't feel like that's going to be what happens. Patrick Stewart himself said, uh, sort of stressed that he might not be a captain anymore, and you know he might not be doing quite the same thing he used to do. Um, if it's a series, uh, I mean he might still be a captain. Um, to a certain extent, one could argue that the initial characterization of him on Next Generation, uh, the sort of captain who stayed on the bridge while Riker went and did the interesting away mission stuff, might be more appropriate now to an older, more experienced uh, Picard, who, you know, just keeps on exploring because he, he wants to. Um, equally, if he comes back as like a, an admiral in an advisory capacity on an important mission, then, or an ambassador. In, in an equally advisory capacity, um, that would make sense for him to be. That would make sense for him to be on the ship and stay on the ship while things are happening. Uh, equally, if you were to do like, I, I don't want them to do this because Picard was never a soldier in the traditional sense uh, in storytelling. But if they brought back Picard for some sort of conflict, where he was, you know, in charge of this big conflict and he was on the flagship or whatever, and you know you focused on that kind of thing, that would also be interesting. I feel like it's very odd for Picard 
to consider the idea that Picard might be the main character of whatever this series is going to be. I don't think he will be. I think Picard will definitely be sort of the Gandalf-esque mentor figure, almost, to a new generation of Starfleet officers. That's what I'm, that's what I'm leaning towards with this, which is an interesting thought. Uh, and I think it's almost preferable to having him come back as the main character in some ways, because to a certain extent, I love Captain Picard a great deal, but one might argue that his story is over. You know, he was the captain of the Enterprise, and then he was the captain of the Enterprise E, you know, and, and that time has passed. So there's a very real possibility that he might be brought back in an advisory capacity. I mean, the positive side of the whole thing is that it's Patrick Stewart. And Patrick Stewart is not an idiot. As I, I said it in my other video, Patrick Stewart's no fool. He'll know the difference between a good script and a bad script. So it's entirely possible that what they will do is they will have him be an executive producer or something and consult him on the scripts, which I think would be very sensible given his experience and given his knowledge of the character. Um, that being said, what I think they should probably do is keep him in the uniform, because that's what people expect. Uh, if he's going to be the sort of mentor figure, you know, then maybe an admiral or a commodore or something, that would be that would be sensible, I think. And just generally, I guess, generally try and stay true to the spirit of what he was, which is this optimistic, humanist, idealist person who always fights for what he believes the Federation stands for. You know, like, he he, um, he rebels against orders in Star Trek Insurrection. I know everyone hates Insurrection, but in that, he rebels against orders because he believes in the dream of the Federation so much. So the same principle applies. Other things I hope they do for this series, I hope they bring back more characters, uh, because it's, it's post-Voyager Trek, so, you know, you've got this 20-year time gap. You could bring back a host of different characters. I would love to see Kate Mulgrew's Captain Janeway again. I'd love to see Data back. Brent Spider probably won't do it, but I'd love to see Data back in some way. Um, but yeah, uh, so this has been a bit of a rambly video, but I wanted to share a few of my thoughts on Picard coming back, what they could do, what they probably shouldn't do. Uh, I mean, to sum up, basically, don't make him sad, old, tired Picard, because I don't want that. I don't think anyone who likes Picard wants him to come back as sad, tired, old Picard. You know, people want him to come back as the optimistic you know, powerful character that they remember. And, you know, it would be like... I don't think that that necessarily negates character development, because the character did develop over the course of seven years of Star Trek and over the course of um, the movies. I don't think it negates character development, but I think it does limit what you can feasibly do and keep him the same character, uh, if that makes sense. So, anyway... Thank you so much for watching this little rambly video of mine, uh, and have a lovely day. See you guys.